How's it going you guys? Steven from Break Free Homestead. I've been getting a lot of people down in the comments section of my framing video. We have the addition playlist of this 14 by 14 build. It's a little bit over 14 by 14. Uh, it's, I think it's like 14 by 14 and three quarter, maybe. We just stretched it a little bit. It's still 14 though, okay? So people in the comments section are wanting to know exactly how much I spent on this build. And I initially planned on keeping track of the receipts and I lost track. And we built this in 2020. Prices were just outrageous. So these numbers I'm gonna give you today, that's right, I'm gonna give you numbers. I did a full breakdown on this today, the cost last week. So this is gonna be pretty darn accurate. Uh, I'll give you some rough numbers and uh, whatnot. I'm gonna give, not gonna give you an exact list of everything, but I just sat down and I did a takeoff basically on almost everything. You're gonna have dollars here and there and variations and whatnot. So let's get straight into it. If this helped you guys out at all, please drop down below, hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel as we grow. And like I said, we got a whole playlist of this whole build. All right, got my list here. Hand jammed the whole thing. From sauna tube to floor framing. Um, that includes fasteners for this whole thing. For the whole project, I put 500 more than fasteners. Nails, um, this is gonna be your, your hurricane ties, all that stuff. Um, your lags, your GRKs, everything. Drywall screws, the whole deal. Um, Brad nails, everything. So that should be more than adequate uh, for this project. That came out to $1,774.71. <coughs> and like I said, that is just to get to the deck area, right? That just that base foundation with the sauna tubes and everything. All right, to frame the walls and that is two by six framing and then with the siding for the zip sheathing that does not include the zip tape i just threw the zip tape in for the roof sheathing um, so that's gonna be 962 dollars obviously we paid a lot more zip was insane when we built this and it's definitely not that high now so all these numbers i'm giving you are are less than what what i spent to do this so um I didn't want to wait so uh, I'm happy that we have it and uh, it is what it is so the roof framing the sheathing the shingles um, ice and water that whole deal um, the soffit the fascia the brake rental um, I added the doors or the door and the three windows on there that's gonna be four thousand and eighty two dollars and fifteen cents the vinyl siding that goes into all your channels your starters your finish all the siding your blocking for the uh, multiple outlets we have, the lights, the uh, porch light, and then there's also PVC trim around the door and then a breaker board to uh, meet up with the old trim or the different color trim. That's gonna be $1,142.34. I ran all of my own electrical in this. You're allowed to in New Hampshire. You still have to have a permit. It was all checked out and it was all set. We have you know, the can lights in there. We have the porch light two lights up here outside and uh, that comes out to $545.87. Insulation, we just went with the R19 bats and then I think we have like R60 up in the attic. And then we have foam at green um, under this. And I, did, I initially got a 600 pack and a 200 pack um, and I felt like it was a little cold last winter so I added another 600 pack on the bottom. So three packs with a total of 1400 and six board foot and that whole thing all the insulation comes out to two thousand seven hundred fifty two and eighty two cents we'll go into plumbing i had a friend do the plumbing we tied into our existing baseboard heater system so we just brought uh, pecs out under it and then did an eight foot baseboard inside there brought it back in um, we had him do some other work inside in the kitchen because we redid that also but so this is a friend also, he gave us a pretty good deal. I'd say you're looking at a thousand bucks at least to add that. So for finishing, this is gonna be strapping on the ceiling, drywall, mud, tape, paint. Um, let's do baseboard, we just went one by four baseboard. You gotta get your casing uh, wood, you gotta get you know caulk, and then floors also for the whole thing. And then we're just throwing stairs in there, the outside stairs, just PT lumber. 
Uh, the whole total on that is gonna be $1,699.20. This stuff can add up pretty darn quick. Um, and definitely I paid more because prices were out of control, which they're pretty good now. I'd say it's a good time to build. Um, the market's kind of weird. If you're doing it yourself, you're going to save a lot of money. Time, insurance, all that stuff goes into paying a contractor. This number is nowhere near what you would get this for a job from a contractor. So don't even think about that. Um, a lot of hours went into this. I didn't track hours, but a lot of hours, you know? So, and your tools, you gotta think about that. This is no tools, just fasteners. Total for this project on materials is gonna be $13,959.15, guys. You can do it. There's a lot of videos out there. Check it out. We have some videos. My videos don't teach you everything, and you're not going to learn everything off of one video. So watch some videos if you need to learn some stuff. Gather what you like out of each one, and then learn how you want to do it. Um, I think it's funny. Sometimes people watch my videos, and they're like, you didn't teach me how to do this. But hey. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, drop down below, hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comment section if you think that's crazy um, or if you think that's a good deal. You be the judge. Thank you guys. Awake on the floor, looking up.